Earlier we had discussed a wide QRS tachycardia. Now we will discuss a narrow QRS tachycardia occurring at a rate of about 180 per minute and see what is the possible mechanism of the tachycardia as well. Have a look at this ECG. At one look there are no P waves seen here. But if you carefully see there are retrograde P waves here after the QRS complex. In this type of tachycardia, when such retrograde P waves are seen, this is an amplified view, they are known as pseudo S because they appear like an S wave after the QRS. That is, the R wave is here, and this could be called as an S wave, but they are very small and they are not true S waves but retrograde P waves which are seen as negative in this lead. They are known as pseudo S waves in this particular form of tachycardia. Now you can measure the RP interval from the onset of R wave to the onset of the retrograde P wave and the PR interval from the onset of the retrograde P wave to the subsequent R wave. In this you can see that RP is short and RP is less than the PR interval then it is known as a short RP tachycardia. So why does this occur? An atrioectopic beat is conducted down the slow pathway. When atrial ectopic beat which is premature comes it finds that the fast pathway has become refractory after the previous sinus beat. Fast pathway even though it conducts faster it has a longer refractory period while slow pathway which conducts slowly has a shorter refractory period. So it require, it recovers fast so that when a premature beat comes this is the only pathway is, which is active. Usually both pathways are active but conduction will preferentially occur through the fast pathway. So this is a manifestation of the dual AV nodal pathway physiology and this will be manifested as a change in the PR interval because there is retrograde conduction going to occur after this. When the atrial ectopic beat which is conducted down the slow pathway reaches the lower part it will find that the fast pathway has recovered and when that recovery has occurred there is a retrograde beat going towards the atrium and that is known as the echo beat. So, this is conducted up the fast pathway. So, that is how we have a short RP interval because from the R wave in the ventricle it is conducted, conducted back to the atria. When that occurs through the fast pathway, RP interval is going to be short. That is the mechanism of the PR jump. For the sinus beat, this is normal conduction through the fast pathway. And this is atrial ectopic beat being conducted down the slow pathway producing a longer PR interval. This difference is known as PR jump. If it is more than 50 milliseconds it indicates dual AV nodal pathway physiology and when it is again conducted back into the atria it causes an echo beat. So when this cycle continues it can produce a reentrant tachycardia. That's what you are seeing. Initiated by an atrial ectopic beat and maintained by reentrant conduction, there will be sequential conduction because when it reaches here, then this pathway recovers. It will again conducted, get conducted downwards. The same cycle of reentrant or circus mechanism occurs, producing a supraventricular tachycardia. This is characteristic of the slow fast type of AVNRT AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. We have seen the pseudo S waves in inferior leads. Corresponding that there could be pseudo R waves in other leads. This is a pseudo R wave small positive wave. It is again a retrograde P wave. In V1 this R wave is too tall to be called as a pseudo R wave. The pseudo R wave may be within this R wave but actual this tall R wave or relatively tall R wave is unlikely to be due to a retrograde P. This is most likely due to 
phasic aberrant conduction a part of partial right bundle branch block occurring when the rate is very fast you know right bundle is relatively lazy compared to the left bundle so that when the rate goes up there is a possibility of partial or incomplete right bundle branch block occurring during the tachycardia that could be the explanation for this tall secondary r wave in v1 this is one more illustration of the rp pr relationship rp is shorter than pr and that indicates short rp tachycardia the slow fast variety of av and rt there are other varieties known as fast slow and uh, slow slow also are there but this is a slow fast variety of av and rt which is what you see commonly